Rectrine 100 encapsulates both the wide color gamut that Rec 2020 describes and also the high dynamic range gamma that HLG and PQ provides in the ST2084 standard. So if we look at it, it will have wide color, aka Rec 20. 20 and also uh, the gamma of ST2084, which in turn describes both HLG uh, HDR gamma and the more popular, at least right now. PQHDR, and those those standards are all part of the HDR 10 standard that you'll see recommended on a TV a 4K Ultra HD TV screen that you'll see in the stores. So as a quick refresher of what HDR 10 is, I'll write it up for you guys. HDR 10. First, it has to have the wide color. Rec 2020. It also has to ha support um, 10 bit color. It has to support ST2084. That is the PQ HDR gamma. Uh, HDR10 doesn't necessarily have to support. Uh, it doesn't describe res resolution, so it doesn't have to support 4K, but part of the larger Ultra HD standard, yes, that higher resolution is necessary. Uh, one more thing is the ST2086 metadata. And that's very important because uh, that allows your player or your computer or your graphics card to send a piece of data down the HDMI uh, cable to tell uh, the screen, your computer screen or uh, your television, that is indeed receiving an HDR signal. Without this metadata, uh, your TV just thinks you're getting an SDR signal.